Hi guys, welcome. I'm Wilfred Unk. I'm the program coordinator of the Master of Sociology. And today I'm going to give a short introduction into our beautiful master program. Two weeks ago, we were shocked in the Netherlands by news that a referee in soccer was killed by three youngsters. Last week in the US, a guy did a shooting on a school and he killed more than 20 people. Is crime really on the rise? Or does it just remain stable? Or does it even decrease? More generally, do we get along well with each other? Or do we see each other less and less? Or is that compensated by an increase in social media usage? Such questions are questions about social cohesions. And this is our focus of our master program. We use a theoretical, empirical approach to studying questions of social cohesion. The empirical approach means that, well, that we study whether crime is really increasing. Actually, empirical research shows that it is not increasing at all. It is decreasing, and this has been the case in the US the last 10 years, but also in the Netherlands. So all these images we have about crime are just not true. This is our empirical approach. Our theoretical approach is, why is that the case? Why is crime on the decrease? One reason, one theory may be that um, our rising educational levels may be responsible for that. Edu if, you have a rising if you have a higher education, you're, you have less reasons to be involved in crime. And you may also have less, less opportunities to get involved into crime. This is just one theory. Another theory is that it is due to, for example, um, more efficient policy. In the Netherlands, for example, politicians tear less at putting people into prison and they advocate community service instead of prison. This may, be, may have an effect on the decrease in crime rates. Here in Tilburg at the Master Program of Sociology, we test whether such theories really hold. Is policy really that effective? Besides this special focus on social cohesion and our well approach, the theoretical empirical approach, I think there's more reasons to study here in our beautiful program. First of all, we have broad master options. We don't only have a one-year program in one-year master program, but we also have a two-year uh, kind of exchange program with the University of Trento. You can go to the northern part of Italy, surrounded by beautiful mountains of the Dolomiti, to study there in this small university town, doing one master here and one master there. This is just one of the master options. Another beautiful option, and it's point two, is the, that we have a long internship. We have an extended master program in sociology of one and a half year, of which one year is doing, a, a, for 50% of your time, an internship, and for 50% of your time, writing your master thesis. A third really beautiful reason to come here is that we are very small scale. There's not so many students in sociology and there is enough staff. And this is favor favorable to uh, lecturing and to well, entering uh, rooms, lecturers and asking questions. This is really very good for students. Fourth, we have excellent student evaluations. They are really rated high and students are, well, are satisfied with our lecturing. Fifth and finally, we have high well, success rates. Uh, last cohort, 100%. So all the students succeeded in finishing their master thesis within 
half a year. I think this is really a good reason to come here.